Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing a really pretty set today, uh, red and pink. I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple this time, but also have a little bit of creativity. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking off my old paint and filing it down so I can have some room to add some acrylic. I've decided I don't really like the gel paint uh, for my job. It just rubs off and um, doesn't stay and I need, I like the color in my acrylic instead. So I'm fast forwarding a little bit through this part because it's kind of tedious, but I'm using a coarse e-file bit and basically just filing around, it is a safety bit, filing around the uh, cuticle area and the whole nail. Um, not getting it terribly thin, but thin enough where I can have uh, enough uh, area to work with new coloring adding on top. So here I'm using my hand file to clean up the edges and make it nice and crisp and also around my cuticle area, getting the area more smooth. I like my hand file better. Um, I like the e-file of course for taking off the bulk, but the hand file works really well for the um, final details. So now that I'm done with filing uh, with my hand file, I'm using my cuticle bit on my e-file to get around the cuticle area. Uh, this bit works really well to get the dead skin and allow for the acrylic to adhere to the natural nail. I'm done with my cuticle area. I am switching to the band and that is uh, filing the natural nail, getting um, the oils and getting a little bit rough for the acrylic. Okay, so I'm using rubbing alcohol to clean my nails and get rid of the dust and make it ready for the application of the acrylic. I'm using Mia Secret Clear. I made my own red color with chalk. And then uh, the pink is actually Young Nails um, brand. And the monomer is the same I always use as well. Um, and they all work together really well. And um, I don't have any issues with that. So um, getting ready to get started here. The monomer is Tierra Sky. Okay, I also uh, need to um, apply the Pro Bond and the uh, Protein Bond, pH Bond, before application. Um, that just helps with the uh, adhering, is that a word, of the acrylic to the nail. Nobody like 
So what I'm doing here is I am creating the bottom part of the base of the nail in the pink and um, I, I try to create a real nice crisp smile line and then the red is going to go on top of that. We'll see in a minute here. Um, and I dip the monomer, brush in the monomer and then pick, pick up a bead and let it sit for 30 seconds or so, maybe not quite that long and then apply it to my nail and then that way it, it starts to set so it's a little easier to work with and it doesn't run off the side. Um, you, you do have to chase it a little bit, but you get used to working with the material um, and, and know your time frame. That's why I like acrylic so much because it starts off really wet and then it starts to set, but you can still mold it. And then once you get it to where you want it to be, it's ready to start setting where you don't have to try and chase it around anymore. So um, I definitely like acrylic the best. For my index finger or pointer finger, I decided to do an ombre. So I'm gonna do the red at the base and then the pink at the tip and blend them in. And um, I think it turned out really cute.
Then I take my nail file and once my thumb is set, I can use that to really make that smile line crisp. And stupid me, when I was doing this, I didn't even realize, or I did realize, but I forgot that my finger, my pointer finger was just <laughs> still setting. So I smudged it a little bit, but I, uh, I just take my brush back and um, fix it up. So it's just, it's fine. I plan on doing some filing anyway, you know, but uh, I was like, dang it, <laughs> why'd I do that? Um, but yeah, you see me here, I just fix it up real quick and kind of try to, it's still wet, like not super wet, but it's like you can push on it really hard with the brush and get it kind of smoothed out. And then I just added a little bit more pink and just, you know, kind of filled it back in, if you will. For the middle finger, I decided to do all red. Um, I really don't go in with a plan. I, I, I sit there and I think about what I want to do, what colors, like is there a theme I want to follow or um, along those lines. And then I kind of just start with one nail and think about what I want to do the whole time while I'm um, doing each nail. So I go back and I do the red on the thumb and then the middle finger is going to uh, be a solid, oh not solid red, sorry, a solid pink. And again, I just kind of decide, like I look at my fingers and I think like what would look really good and what would be balanced and also be, you know, artistic. So I'm always looking at my finger from different angles, underneath, the sides, the top, the front, uh, looking at where I need to add more acrylic, making sure it's not too thick, but not too thin so that I have room for filing. I do not encapsulate my nails most of the time. Uh, sometimes I do, it depends, but I didn't want to do it this time. It's so much work doing these nails. And um, you know, it takes me hours, two hours at least. So I'm just trying to like, think of ways I can you know cut down on my time I do enjoy it but it takes me a whole day basically so then I was looking again like what do I want to do for my ring finger and I decided to do a solid red So for my pinky, I was like, okay, do I do another smile line, two-tone, like my thumb, or do I do an ombre? And I decided the ombre would look prettiest again. And then I was like, well, do I do red on the base, pink on the top, like my pointer finger, or do the opposite? And then I didn't want to get too crazy, so I did the exact same that I did with my pointer finger. Um, and I think it turned out pretty cute again. You know that 
hardest part, I think, is like try not to flood your cuticle with the acrylic. You know, placing it close but not too close, and then kind of working it so it's just a smooth transition. Um, and you'll see me like use the tip of my brush um, to, you know, just wipe around the cuticle area so it doesn't attach to the skin, and then kind of just gently feathering it down towards the front and making it nice and smooth so I don't have to do a whole lot of filing. I'm sorry, baby. Gonna have to let you For the ombre, uh, to make it so it blends better, I like to put it like sort of like upside down at the tip and then you know, work it towards the base of the nail instead of the other way around. So I think it just creates a better effect. So it's not such a harsh change between the colors. So again, I like to use my hand file in for most of my filing, um, and I'm getting better at the application of the acrylic where I don't have to do a ton of filing like I did when I first started doing my nails because they were so lumpy and, you know, you just, it's all about practice. Everybody says, you know, you just gotta practice and you'll get better. Um, you know, how much uh, monomer to use, you don't want to saturate your brush where it's dripping wet, but you definitely want to make it wet enough so you pick up the bead. You have something to work with and it's um, it's not too dry or it's not too runny and I, like I said I'm finally getting to the point now where I feel like I can um, not have to do a ton of filing. Um, the thumb with the red on top of the pink because that earlier when I filed that smile line all you really have to do is just make sure that the red is filed down to the same level as the pink and you can see that real nice crisp line when you're done filing. So the middle finger is obviously the widest finger I have besides my thumb, I suppose, but I don't like it to be really wide. I try to make it more narrow, so I, I spend a little bit more time filing the middle fingers because I don't like them really wide.
started to buff and I was like, oh crap, I didn't do my cuticles. So um, you take a fine bit and go around the cuticle area and just make sure again that the um, transition between the natural nail and the acrylic nail is smooth and um, got a nice, you know, transition, a plane. Take a look inside There's blood on your hands When I'm over this love will come over the start it again Cause one day at a time You wreck my heart With daggers in my spine But still I want One day at a time Then the final step is the buffer, and you just go around the whole nail and make sure that it's nice and smooth, get the final um, brushes out of there from the acrylic nail and the hand file. And um, that'll be, if you at this point, if you wanted to, you could do you know, some paint or you can do some bling. I chose not to do any of that this time. So I'm just gonna go around and buff all my nails. Well, I'm over this love, come on. And again with the rubbing alcohol, clean off all the dust from the buffing. I'm using Young Nails Shiny Top Coat. So I cure for 60 seconds and this is the final result. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe.